Hello everyone. Today we will continue with the Vaikalski's theory which states about the human knowledge and skills, how it is going to be modified by the influence of the environment in which we are living. So this theory is holding good. How do we learn? So normally we say that we are able to get our education in our schools and the places of education where we receive. Is it not? So, do you think that uh, we are able to attain our maximum potential? No. Sometimes we are able to achieve only very uh, limited level. So, is that any ways to increase this? Yes, we can increase our potentiality in learning of acquiring the knowledge and the skills when somebody is helping us. Take for example, you might not be knowing how to learn a thing better, but your teachers will guide you to learn it in a very better way. So, after you, uh, you receive the guidance from your teacher, you learn the things in a more appropriate way and the content is very easy for you to remember, is it not? So, he is, uh, Vaikarsky is explaining this theory through the socio-cultural theory. So, in this theory, he says that there are three levels of attainment for any individual's ability. What is that? First thing is that, the first level of attainment is your current uh, knowledge about a particular concept. What is the current knowledge? Take for example, you are able to understand the things. Now, I am able to get uh, some 10th uh, rank. This is my ability now. Now, what I am going to do is that, I am going to receive the help of my teachers, my elders, my parents and my even my uh, siblings so that they guide me in learning better to write, present my material more uh, neat and clear. So what happens if they help, if they help, I am able to achieve some fifth rank or I am going to achieve a second rank like that. So what is this? I am able to achieve, acquire my knowledge and skills with the help of the guidance of some other persons in my life. So this is what he says that the zone of proximal development. So he says that there is three level of uh, attaining an ability. What is that? First level is what I cannot, I can do on my own without the help of uh, others, my teachers, my parents or my siblings or somebody else. I am going to achieve something. That is what called as what I can do. This is my level, my potentiality. Then what I am going to do with the help of others. What I can do with the help of others. So when I get my uh, help my, from my teacher so that she will tell me how to present an uh, answer very neatly, how to write the points, what are the important points to learn for a question. So she will guide me to attain a more level. So this is called what I can do with the help of others. This is the second level. Then there is something which we cannot achieve. Do you agree with me? Yes, in life there are something which is out of reach of us, is it not? But we can try to uh, maximize or reduce this space. So, this is what which is called as a zone of proximal development. In this Vaikarsky theory, he says that zone of proximal development, that is a way, area which you can reach with the help of others' help, so that you attain your maximum potential to reach something in your life. So, this is what called as a zone of proximal development. So, this Vaikasi theory is helping us to understand how an individual acquire knowledge and skills with the guidance of others by himself and with the help of others. So, this theory is holding good that as a teacher in our classroom, we have to help our uh, students to learn and reach the zone of proximal development. So, that is nothing but this is not in here. What is this? This is your current understanding. Take for example, you are a child who is able to get 70 marks in science. Your teacher is going to help you. Your parents are guiding you. Your uh, siblings are telling you how to draw the diagrams. Everything. So, what happens in the next step is, you are able to get 90 marks. This is what called as a ZTD, Zone of Proximal Development. The highest level which you achieve with the help of guidance of others. Okay. Then there is something which you can't. So you are able from 70, you are able to reach 90 or 95. But still there is something which is there. That is the out of reach, which I say that what I can't do. But this level, we can reduce its space by 
enhancing the guidance from the others. So when people, as a teachers, when you help your students to reach the zone of proximal development, they utilize their potentialities more and achieve success in their studies. Okay. Is this theory clear for you? Yes. So what does the Vipassana theory states that there are only three levels. What I can do on my own, that is my current level of achievement. When what I am going to do with the help of others, what I can do and there is something which I can't do. So what is very important in this theory is the, the zone of proximal development which is nothing but the process by which an individual acquires their knowledge and skills with the guidance of others. It may be a peer group or your parent or your teacher or any other elders in the society. Okay. Thank you.